Hey, what's up, ladies? So this is the final race for uh, the knockout regatta, and uh, I just wanted to uh, show you what the top teams on the creek look like. So closest to us is boat four, and that's Fire Truck. Uh, that's coached by uh, my friend and teammate Carolyn and Felix. Uh, the boat in the middle is DZP. That's a team we see on Saturdays who I talk to, coached by also my teammate Tony. And on the far side would be FCRCC Premier, coached by Kamni. And uh, in this race, where I just want you to try and observe and uh, the rate, the connection with the water, uh, fire truck. They took this race extremely convincingly. They won it by uh, almost half a boat, which is really convincing for a 200 meter race. Uh, Five and six, you know, DZP and, and uh, False Creek, they were pretty much neck and neck. Uh, they were about the same. Um, False Creek actually looks better than DZP. Uh, they, have a, they have the lowest rate among the three, uh, but they were keeping up with, uh, they, were at a, they were going at the same speed as uh, DZP. And if it were a 500 meter race, you know, False Creek would have, uh, would have pulled away from DZP. Although I think fire truck, they just look so good. You know, I want you to watch um, the catch, and I want you to watch, uh, you know, how their bodies move. They're all hinging forward. They got hip rotation. It looks really good, right? Really solid. My, they they've been working really hard, and uh, right, just kind of watch, watch the surge. Right, I just slowed it down. Uh, they have the highest rate by far, right? So for a two hundred meter race, you know, you gotta. <laughs> these guys just start, you know, it's a start and a finish, that's it, right? And because they're younger, they're stronger, they're more fit, and they can do it. So uh, for a 200-meter race, a young team like that, yeah, it's just a start and finish, that's it. And just look at the surge right now. Watch how the boat uh, responds when at the catch, right? They got just more oomph on the catch, right? Whereas uh, DZP just didn't look... Um, they just didn't have as strong a connection as uh, as boat four or fire truck. Kamni's team, you know, they always put up a solid team, but you know, a two hundred meter sprint is uh, is a young is a young person's race, and um, you know they put up a good showing right there. But uh, physically, they just don't have that explosiveness that these young uh, these young teams have. Uh, over a five hundred meter race would be in, it would have been closer, but uh, I think Fire Truck would still take uh, False Creek at the 500 meter race. Um, at the rate they're going, they really surprised me. So, just watch the catch. Um, uh, seat 9 and 10, a boat 4, they're a little bit off. Uh, they just rush a little bit. So, uh, so, you know, every team has issues, right? So you watch seat 10, seat 9, they're just a little bit off, slight caterpillar, but, you know, nothing that they can't fix. Uh, but yeah, you know, we had a really good showing this weekend, extremely, extremely good racing, right? Uh, our first race for, sorry, our second last race was the best race of the day, so yeah, let's watch this race in lifetime. So watch the, watch the rate. Right, fire truck has the highest rate and they got the best connection as well. So, you know, you have high rate, good connection, you're gonna win convincingly. It's all about the start, you know. So watch, right? High rate, good connection. Boom, and it's it's over. Right? DZP tries, but their technique is just not that good. They just don't have enough patience on the catch, so they don't have that water connection and the boat doesn't respond as well. So there you go, right? Uh, that's what you want to look like.